Introducing the Phase Elite Series Vaporizer. This vaporizer was designed with our more advanced users in mind. With this kit, users can utilize either e-liquid or dry leaf capabilities. The Phase Elite Series comes in premium packaging featuring gloss, premium cardboard exterior, and a panel that opens on the front to reveal the premium carrying case and a feature panel. The package is designed so it can display either horizontal or vertical depending on the display format. The kit itself includes one digital 2200 milliamp variable voltage rechargeable battery, one dry leaf tank, One, two milliliter capacity sub ohm e liquid tank, one micro USB charging cable, and one cleaning tool. It also includes this premium zipper style carrying case, which opens to reveal multiple chambers and holding pockets for all of your vaping products. To use the Phase Elite Series Vaporizer, the user must first determine which type of medium they would like to consume. In this instance, we're going to go ahead and select the e-liquid. The e-liquid tank must first be filled with e-liquid by unscrewing the coil on the bottom of the tank. This is done by twisting the coil in a counterclockwise motion until it unthreads. Set the coil aside, select the desired e-liquid of your choosing, Go ahead and fill that down the side of the glass tank until it reaches a desired fill level. Once the tank has been filled, go ahead and replace the coil, screwing it on evenly to ensure there's no cross threading so that there's no leakage from the tank. Once that's snugly on, this can then be mounted to the battery by twisting in a clockwise motion again, ensuring that it does not cross thread. Once the tank has been mounted on the battery, the battery then needs to be powered up. The battery can be powered up by pressing the, but the power button, seen here, five times in quick succession. Once the battery has been powered on, you'll see the display unit power up. This is a variable voltage battery, and it can be controlled in either watts or volts. To toggle between watts and volts, the user needs to hit the power button one, two, three times, and it will go ahead and switch to wattage. You can then use the arrow buttons to adjust the wattage to the appropriate level for whatever the medium is you're using. <coughs> that can be learned more about in your user's manual. Right here, you adjust this collar, which adjusts airflow and affects vapor production. To charge this pen, it has a standard micro USB charging port with pass-through technology. You can go ahead and plug that in and the pen can be used while charging. When it's done, simply unplug it, it's ready to go. 